Hey guys, it's Room Manic 99 here, and today we are back with our Tech It tutorials. In the last episode, we did our alchemical chest and our covalence dust. In this episode, oh, I am hoping, well, I'm not hoping, I will get to show you how to make an alchemical bag, and I get rid of the seed, I don't want it. Uh, okay, get back up here. <laughs> now you can see the castle hasn't changed yet. I'll upgrade it a little bit. Episode 4 or 5, or just before, or just after it. Anyway, so let's go back in here. I know the movement for you guys is laggy as hell, but I know everything else is okay. So, for our alchemical bag, which is exactly like the alchemical chest, except portable and you can carry it wherever you want, you need another alchemical chest, five dark blue covalence dust, and five wool. The wool can be any colour, they look bag. See, different colour wool means different colour thing. It wants to cap lock off off. Okay, now right click your chest as you as obviously. And meant to be three of them, sorry. Anyway, so for it, place your alchemical chest in the middle. Five wall around like the bottom from the either side in the centre, all the way around like such. Then you place one, two, three covalence dust, and there you go. You get your white uh, alchemical bag, which is oh, see exactly the same alchemical bag. I can see. I can leave it over here. See, it is portable. Unlike the chest, I'll put that back. And that will go there for episode, as that was now done, episode 2. Oh, now what else do I want to show you? Let's scroll through. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, it's something actually. Okay. <laughs> Now screw it, I'll show you how to make a level 1 power flower. Well it's, not, well, it's not really a power flower yet. I'll show you how to make an energy collector. Which are these things. For these things, for energy collectors, level 1, you need... 6 glowstone. A furnace. Furnace, furnace, furnace. Oh, anyway, I'll get furnace in a sec. Diamond block. Oh, there it is. That that is how you make your energy collector level one, and I will show you how to do that. So basically, place your three or six, I mean, glowstone on the left and the right side. Place your glow right diamond block in the center. Place your furnace underneath the diamond block, and the glass above that. And these can be used with your alchemical chest to make, eventually make something called a power flower. Which I will show you the full uh, looking thing in a further episode. Because you will need other stuff which I will be showing you how to make. See, there's that. That will go... Mm, I thought I'd click that. Oh wait, I'm mean the right click. Mm. That will go there. Oh, I'm sorry, still episode 2. And now I'll show you how to make a philosopher's stone. So we need philosopher's stone. We need a diamond. Diamond, D I A M O N D. We need redstone. We need four of it. And we need glowstone dust. Which is one, two, four of that. Glowstone dust guys can actually be made uh, by with the item I am actually about to show you. I think it was. Hang on, let me check. Was it? Oh, that's right. Yeah. Oh, there is a way you can make it, but it's not like that. There's an easier way. If you feel like me and don't like using science, you can use a philosopher's stone, which I'm actually about to show you once you've already got one. To use redstone, put your philosopher's stone in the center. Once you, I mean, put your, that there, redstone in the corners. Then gold dust on either side, and it will make glowstone. I think I'm not too sure. I can't remember. 
But anyway, for this Philosopher's Stone, which is one of the best items ever, place that diamond in the center, place the uh, redstone either in the mid center blocks or the corner blocks, and you place the glowstone wherever the redstone is not, and you'll have your Philosopher's Stone, which is easily one of the most valuable tools for a mage. When you get your Philosopher's Stone, uh, you can power it up by holding up your boost button and you can power it down by holding shift and pressing your boost button All right now and I'll show you a few of the effects of it uh, watch this oh get out of the water get out of the water okay boom I have froze open I have froze over my spawn point <laughs> see now I look pretty cool I'm gonna keep that it can also change the terrain around you it all depends on how you do it, see if you left click, right click I mean, there it will turn the thing into the grass into sand, hold shift and right click it will turn the sand, the grass into cobblestone, if you hold shift and right click on the sand it will turn that into cobblestone, into, bah, cobblestone. then if you just right click the cobblestone it will turn into smooth stone, so which is pretty cool I guess, and also if you have red stone if you press like R button, you can do this, and it can turn pretty much any transform anything. Hopefully, uh, can, I, can I do it without redstone? No, okay, hang on. If I get quit some redstone, I'll show you. Well, it can be any type of fuel. It can be coal, redstone, glowstone. See, I've turned that into a chicken. I want to see if I can get out of a mushroom. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Oi, what are you doing? That squirrel leaves chicken. <laughs> the sheep chicken. Squirrel leave that. Get back to the thing. And place this in the chest with the rest of our items. See you out there. Now, that I think that will have to be it for this episode because this one has what well, we made three items and it's gone pretty quick. Dumb. The last episode we made the alchemical chest and the conveyance dust. This episode we've done well, the alchemical bag, energy collector and philosopher's stone. Anyway guys, this is Rumanic99 saying I'm out.